Another option you could do is you build three Sophias. Three Sophias. And here we go. Damage. Damage. Hey guys, Sean B and today I want to talk about the new Giants B12 meta that's going around the community. I have seen many other teams by other streamers, I've talked to peoples, and this is currently the best team that I can build. On my account, I don't have a Luna. The unit that you are not seeing right here is a second Sophia. I have built three Sophia in total and I've tried so many different variations and this is currently the best and most consistent team that I can build and it is definitely not worth your time. <laughs> That's my conclusion. If you are an average player, the Saf Malia Tattoo Dots team is the best team. This kind of damage team is the worst thing to build if you're not super endgame and you don't have a Luna. It is just really, really hard, very high investment for a couple seconds faster in your GB12. Compared to the Saf Tattoo team, this team is just, it's like trying to buy a Lamborghini, but you are just going down the street to buy some grocery. Not gonna be worth it, just use your bike. It is actually gonna be the same speed, kinda, and much less investment. So let me show you the runes. We have the Julie, who's gonna do some damage to the wave. We have, she's on Swift Blade, you know, the, the standard attack with damage attack, Julie, nothing crazy. We have, we have the Lucian on Blade and Fight Rune, you know, just your standard Lucian to finish off the wave. You don't need to do a lot of damage to kill the wave. These two can do moderate damage and you do just fine to kill the wave. But then the hardest part is in the other damage dealer. So I have my Sophia to defense break as well as to do damage. She's on attack to damage attack. Pretty solid runes, high accuracy to defense break. I have the other Julie to do the big damage as well. She's on fatal attack, good damage attack, additional damage by attack, damage on water, all that good stuff. And my last damage dealer is going to be Kyle. Kyle. Kyle? How do I read this guy's name? Rage attack, good damage attack, doing a lot of damage as well. And this is the best combination so far I have achieved. By this time, you probably are wondering to yourself, Sean, what about all the popular wind damage dealer that's good for GB12, like the wind Ninetale Fox, the wind Marshall Cat, um, Tesha, all that other wind damage dealer. Yes, they're really good. But the thing is, they are relying on AI to use skill two or skill three, which is not good. The whole point of building a good dungeon team is that it doesn't rely on AI that much and it needs to be consistent. If not, then just use the dots team. It's gonna be the same anyway. Sophia has perfect AI when she has full HP and cow get instant turn and bonus damage when he doesn't take damage. So that's the whole point of this consistency thing. If not, I'll just use Win Marshall Cat or just Win Ninetale Fox. They also do big damage, but they can use skill one and that's not a good idea. But how do we get here? This boss, this entire dungeon was nerfed overall to be easier to kill. So people want to go back to the damage team because the dots team, even though it is really good, it is not consistent. Sometimes you get a 25 second run, sometimes you get a minute run because you have to rely on accuracy, resistance, and it is not the most perfect. But overall, the dots team can achieve a 40 second average. Like 40 second is really fast. Like I thought my sex life was fast, but you know, the dots team is actually not bad at all. But people want it to be faster and more consistent. So people want to go back to this team. And the best kind of damage on bosses is damage to enemy HP. And when you look at this list, this unit right here, it has perfect AI, it is a skill 3, which means it has the highest multiplier, it's a single target skill, and it can attack twice into this one as well, that can do a lot of damage. So this unit is perfect for dungeon. And then the next best thing is going to be this unit. It does a lot of damage as well, and it has a skill 3, but then it has very shitty AI. It may look good on video, it may look good on highlights, it may look good on the record run, but when you want to rely on this unit, it will do skill 2 and skill 1 a lot of time, and even though they also have damage proportionate to enemy max HP, the damage is really underwhelming. So the rest of the category here, none of them can compare to Luna. 
if you don't have luna you cannot kill the boss very fast you have to take two turns which will lead to the run being 30 second plus no matter what you do and when i look at all the single target damage dealer all of them they all have one thing in common terrible ai the only one that can come close to luna is the wind sister sophia she also has perfect ai for skill 3 the skill 3 can do good damage but then it doesn't gain full attack bar to go into skill 2 like luna so she can only do about 30 40k damage and it's not the most amazing thing so when say shizo talked about replacement for luna he mentioned triple sophia and i went ahead and built three sophia i put this rune set on the third sophia but i cannot even come close to killing the mid boss so this is the best possible perfect ai comp and the third sophia i used the rune set on cow on this unit and i even reduced the crit rate to have more crit damage it just let me show you, okay? It looks really good. It looks like the perfect team, right? Until we go to the mid boss. And here we go. Damage, damage. And unfortunately, that 10% HP itches. <laughs> it will screw you up. The, the golem will attack your, your unit. It will screw up cooldown and all that stuff. It just, it's just tough, man. In the final boss, it looks pretty cool, right? A lot of damage, but it is definitely not the most consistent thing because these units, they just... Hi, <sighs> Sag. So Sophia doesn't do enough damage compared to Luna, no matter what I do, no matter what kind of runes I put on it. And I'm pretty sure you don't have just three amazing, four amazing damage dealing rune set to slap on your farming team. You got your siege, you got your other stuff to build as well, and not everything can be put into Giants B12 compared to the low requirement dots team that can be built pretty easily. And you don't really need any crazy rune set except for maybe Lucian to one shot wave. After trying out so many options, this guy is the best possible thing without relying on AI because he can attack twice and he get bonus damage 100%. Even if he starts with skill 1, you have another chance for him to use skill 2 after that and he does a whole lot of damage and it is perfect for killing the mid boss without worrying about AI. But then there's another option. Remember this team that people were trying to put into GB12 but the boss was just too tanky to kill with Tricaro. I've tried every possible combination but none of them will be fast or good compared to the dots team. The best one will be with Savannah. About a minute run and Savannah is just the best unit for giants but the most hilarious team is going to be with Ciara because... <laughs> Sierra does so much damage and Sierra has bombed pretty much every single turn because of the team up and she will gain enough attack bar in between the Tricaru to just sneak in between and do damage to the enemy golem as well as the crystal and that is just amazing because the problem with Tricaru in with Dao Avert is that you don't gain attack bar and then you get cut in between by all these freeze from the golem and you cannot do anything about it but with Ciara, she'll just cut in between on her own and she'll do her, her own thing. So the best build will probably be a lot of damage on your Ciara. Mine is on a typical speed, crit rate, attack build. Not a whole lot of attack and it's just good overall stat. But if you're building a Ciara for Giants, you can probably focus on just raw damage. You can build a Fatal set. And hey, Sia is the best daughter in the game, as we may say. So along with Bomb, she's going to put continuous damage on this boss and she can cleanse her own defense break. <laughs> See, she's putting a lot of continuous damage on the boss. And I think even if the boss kill all the Ikaru, Sierra might be able to do it on her own. Yeah, look at, look at this amount of continuous damage. It's, it's actually kind of amazing. So you don't need to put Malia. If you have Ciara or Savannah, you can try using your triple Ikaru and with a win nat 5 unit, the budget version will be using Triana. So if you put any of the crit damage set over here onto a Triana, it will do the run just fine too because Triana can save your Ikaru from dying, cleanse your Ikaru if they get frozen, put immunity to protect the team from getting frozen or defense break, and Triana do a lot of damage. And because of Ikaru team up, this skill would probably have no cooldown. 
but it's gonna be a slow run because you're not doing a whole lot of damage compared to using a wind damage dealing net 5 like CR or Savannah. But still, <laughs> this is mostly for fun, okay? It is definitely not worth it compared to using the normal team. So after trying so many things today, using my best possible damage dealing rune on Odo, Sophia and stuff, and trying Ikaru, my conclusion, my ultimate conclusion is still going back to the best team possible, the easiest team to build as well, which is going to be Malia, Tattoo, Sav, Lucian, and yeah, that's just, it's so much easier. <laughs> Trust, it is so much easier to build this team. They need like pretty shitty rune requirement. So uh, that's about it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.